Hello world and everybody in the Google group. Today is the 16th of May and uh, this is my progress today. So I uh, did a blue wash on the heads, severed heads on the standard and did some pustules and, and stuff on them. And uh, they will be washed again with some kind of flesh tone just to tone them down. So that all those colors are kind of in the background and you'll see how that looks soon. And I thought I'd show you the rest of my guys since um, I showed you five of them in yesterday's video. And all their awesome gross pustules coming along. Fly head. My favorite head of them all. So much gore to go on him. Mm-hmm. Maggots in his mouth. Or her, because she's got boobies, if you can see. Lots of sores on her back. And the last one is a nurgling inside the belly and elephantitis leg. Lots of pustules on him. Cool. So today's daily question is coolest fictional setting to live in Lord of the Rings, Star Wars, Star Trek or other your choice and why? Well Lord of the Rings would be pretty cool to live in, especially uh, Hobbiton is my favourite place, uh, really, and I would enjoy living there. But I would have to say the most captivated I was by a movie setting and really wanted it to be real was probably Harry Potter. I read the books before seeing the movies and uh, I was just captivated by it and... Um, I still am. I think it would be fantastic to live in a place that's so magical, that has, uh, you know, people can manipulate space and time and, um, you know, cast spells and these creatures of that are hidden in reality, but really they're there and nobody really knows unless you're a wizard or witch. And um, it's just so cool. It captivates the imagination and... Uh, I just think that the books are written fantastically and really just captivated me completely. So uh, that would be why I would choose uh, the Harry Potter world. I would love to be a witch and able to do magic and live in a magical place where there were mystical, magical creatures and magic and just so cool. <laughs> anyway, um, today uh, my shout outs are for um, Play It Painted, who uh, has uh, finished his um, challenge for the month, and congratulations on that. I think he's just painting for fun now, and the last time I saw he was painting um, a, minute, a few miniatures, I can't remember, I think one of them was from Hell Dorado. Um, and I can't remember the other ones, but uh, they are pr very well painted. Um, so go and check out his channel. He was doing Super Dungeon Explorer models, I think, and they looked so much fun to paint. They're just like little cartoon characters, and uh, the colors are great, and the painting's fantastic, so go and check him out. The next one is uh, another historical painter uh, Ringo Simpkins. He's doing Prussians, I'm, as far as I know, um, and they look fantastic. Very well painted and he has uh, he is, um, a uh, YouTube veteran, so uh, go and check him out. He's got some fantastic videos. The next one is Dawn's Apothecary, who is doing Orcs. Um, also a veteran of YouTube and very uh, good painting, so if you like those uh, projects, go and check them out. Uh, and of course, I would like to say if you haven't checked out Grandmaster Painters, 
um, channel uh, and you're doing the May Painting Challenge, uh, you want to win a prize, go and subscribe to his channel and check out his giveaway to be in to win. Okay, thanks so much for watching and bye!